This is quite a big booklet, so don't try and do too much today. Uh, it just gives you something to walk through, and whenever you think you're finished, you can post it back to me. It's a Word document, so you should be able to download it. Okay, because you get you get Word with uh, the Glow account. Now, as you can see, I've went up to draw here, and I'm choosing a pencil, so I can write in some of the answers. So, for example, this one here talks about the length and value of notes, and as you can see, the answer for this one would be two. So you could draw in a two. Well, oh, doesn't work. There you go. That's better. Two. Right. This one here is also two. So you could draw in a two. This one here is also the answer two. So you could draw in a two. So it just gives you something to work through. If you don't, if you don't manage to do them all, or you don't want to do them all, because there's quite a lot there, that's absolutely fine. Just whatever, just whatever you can. Uh, this is the same type of exercise, just different notes and different lengths. So the answer for this one is four. So you could come back with the answer four. Yeah, that works. The answer to this is also four. That's actually the same one again. Right. Uh, as you move down, this is slightly more trickier if you're just using the Word document and using the draw function of Word. It's a little bit trickier. So it says here, draw a line of crotchets, one beat. So you can choose whatever note you want, but let's just copy the same note again. So if I want to draw a crotchet, that's, that's giving you an example of what a crotchet looks like. So I need to do that. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then give it a line. Another crotchet. Same note. Give it a line. Yeah, that works. There's actually a little rule in music that if you draw a note above the middle line, you can see this is the middle line, it's called the middle line of the stave. There's actually a little rule where when you draw a note above the middle line, the stem, this thing here called the stem, goes down the way and it goes down to the opposite side. It goes down to the left. So if you did want to continue and draw a note above the middle line, let's choose the top line, yeah? This note's called an F. You'll probably learn that today. So the line would sort of wouldn't, it wouldn't look like that. That's wrong. Okay, it would look. Like ah, try again. Some it would look like that. That's correct. Okay, so minims are two beat notes, so you don't fill in the head, you don't colour them in. So a minim A would look like that, but a minim C, because it's above the middle line, would look like that. Okay, semi brief is the easiest note to draw because it's just a circle, so you don't need to worry about a line. So a semi brief F top line. Oh, no, 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 I missed the top line, that's actually a G. I missed the top line. That's it. Okay with that? Right, so that's, a, that's that exercise done. Uh, this is a bit of information on time signatures for you to read about beats in the bar. But you can read that in your own time. You can read that in your own time and it tells you everything you need to know. Okay. Uh, this is about bar lines. So you'll probably recognise that from the music that you read in school. Uh, some questions there for you to answer. How many beats in each note? That one's a four. Yeah, that one's a one. That's a two. That's a one and that's a four. Okay, uh, this one here asks how many beats are in the bar. So what you do is you add up the notes that are in the bar. So that's a two beat note. That's another two beat note. Two plus two is four. Right, so that's four beats in the bar. And you can double check that because the next bar along that's a one beat note, a one beat note, and a two beat note. Uh, two beat note. And again, one, one, two, so we know that's four beats, four beats in the bar. Yeah, okay. This one, the answer is three beats in the bar, because it's a three beat note. It's a one beat note, it's a two beat note. One plus two is three, etc. This is actually quite an interesting exercise. Okay, this is quite a good one. It asks you to draw in some notes. Now, for some reason, is it went away? Is it, yeah, it's went away. Oh, no, it's still there. I thought, I thought the pencil went away there. So it asks you to draw in notes in the bar. So if, the, if, the, if there are four beats in the bar, four, four, now that's what it tells you that up here. So you find that out here, yeah? Okay. So if there are four beats in the bar, four, four, you have to fill out each bar with notes that add up to four beats. Now the easiest way of doing that is that. A semi brief four beat note, but then don't do that or that. Right, and keep doing that because otherwise you're just kind of wasting your time. So what you would maybe do for the next bar is you could put in two, two beat notes. Yeah, this one here you could put in a two beat note, 
sorry, let's do a one beat note and a, a three beat note. That makes four. Yeah. And this one here, let's really go for it. Let's try. Uh, it's not very good at it. It's quite hard to draw with the mouse, but it, it works. It works. Right. That's two one beat notes, and that's a two beat note. Okay. Uh, when you're drawing notes uh, and there's no lines, you know, there's no middle line on this, there's no what we call a stave. Uh, so what you normally do is you normally draw notes with the, with the line, what's called the stem, going up the way to the right hand side, if that makes sense. That's the default position, if that makes sense, when you're not when you're not writing a note above the middle line. Okay, so you can continue that. There's more there to do. There's more that this will be quite tricky. This will be quite tricky using the mouse, but oh, nah, it's not too bad. Uh, that wasn't very good, Mr. Johnson. Let's try that one. Aye, right, that was okay. That's passable. That's okay. That works. Right, oh, what's this one here? Join the dots. Oh, I've not done dot to dot for ages. Dot to dot, see? Eh? Or colouring in. Right, oh, can you try it now with no help? Let's see if Mr. Johnson can do it. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, not quite. I was oh, I spoke too soon there. Spoke too soon. There you go. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, not bad with the mouse. Let's try it. Oh, that's the best one yet. Come on. Last one, Mr. Johnson. We get a good one. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. And there you go. And, and maybe you want to just stop there and send me that. I can look through it, see how you got on. And then the next time you come to music, we can do the next one. Yeah. Maybe don't move on to that one yet. Maybe just go down there. Just do what you can. That's all. That's all. Do what you can. If you can manage to. Well, if, and if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I, I'm not quite sure how you would obviously save that and then try and send me that. Uh, but we're all learning here. But as long as you've got something to do in music, you want to know how you got on. Even, even just a comment to say that you've done it. Just leave me a comment on the page, on the Teams page, to say, yeah, Mr. Johnson tried it. Very good booklet. And, you should, and if you don't have Word, or, or, or the current version of Word on your computer, remember, you are allowed to download that for free through your Glow account. Okay. Right, first year, look forward to hearing from you.